sanctuary conjures different feelings in each of us. For you, that might be a spot in nature, maybe a place in your home or in your garden. For me, it's the marble pillars and stained glass windows of the old cathedrals in Europe. But for women who've escaped the horrors of trafficking, violence, and addiction, finding sanctuary can feel impossible. In February of 2001, I escaped that life. And as a survivor myself, I know firsthand how difficult that transition can be. This is why I created Sanctuary Project. A survivor-run nonprofit social enterprise employing and empowering women coming out of trafficking, violence, and addiction. Every handmade jewelry piece provides economic opportunity to women in transition. And each of our pieces is made to inspire sanctuary in you too. You can make a difference in the lives of trafficking survivors. Whether it's through your purchases, our sponsor a survivor program, or even just spreading the word, valuable lives are being healed, transformed, and given the opportunity to find sanctuary. What a beautiful story. And with me tonight is the founder and CEO of the Sanctuary Project, Holly Christine Hayes. Holly, welcome, and thank you for what you're doing. Oh, thank you. It's an honor to be here. I think if people can understand that this is not just some project that you took on because you thought it needed to be done, you lived this life. Yeah. You were rescued out of this life. What happened to Holly prior to becoming the CEO of Sanctuary? You know, you wouldn't think that someone that looks like me and grew up in a good home and a good family would end up being trafficked. Um, but there were a set of circumstances that happened in my early childhood. There was some sexual abuse in my young life um, and then a divorce in my, in my family. And ultimately that led to a life of addiction. Mm -hmm. And really for me, that addiction ended up spiraling into my exploitation. And so I looked just like everyone else. I looked like a normal college student, but what was happening behind the scenes was absolutely horrific. Mm. And there's a lot, of, a lot of young ladies that are like you, and we don't think about it, yeah. but they're being abused and exploited because they're vulnerable. Something has happened in their lives that makes them vulnerable. Absolutely. There's always some sort of economic instability or, um, or violence or addiction in their past that's leading to this. And all the women that we've worked with at Sanctuary Project have some sort of vulnerability that's made them um, exploited. Do they come to you? Do you go and find these girls and say, hey, look, there's hope. We're going to help you out of this. How does that happen? We have an outreach program. So I'm in the jails uh, every Tuesday and I get to go and teach in the jail and I'm from Austin, Texas. And I go and teach in the Travis County Jail and I share my story there. And every single time I share my story, there's someone there and I can always spot them because all of a sudden tears start running down their face. And I see them realize for the first time, maybe even, me too. I was trafficked. A lot of times they don't even mm. realize that that's what's happened to them. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they think this is normal or they think that they were choosing it, you know, but no one chooses that life. No one would choose something like that. And, and you, the, the jewelry that, that these ladies create, I mean, this is just a couple. It's of, pretty, right? It is. You know, and I'm not exactly into pretty, but. Uh, but I feel like, you know, really nice. if you, but if you were going to wear jewelry. If I, now Keith would wear this, he would wear one of these in his nose, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. This, but it's beautiful stuff. And they actually do create these uh, designs. Yes, yeah. And then they're sold at major retailers. Yeah, so um, we just got picked up by Target.com, which is incredible. That's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, um, so it's, people, if they buy these, where does the money go when they buy this jewelry from uh, Sanctuary? So 100% of our proceeds go to providing more employment for survivors. Every single person on our wow. staff is a survivor, from myself as a CEO, our operations director, our social media manager. Every single woman in our company is a survivor of trafficking, violence, and addiction. So you're, you're helping people who know that you know where they have been. Yeah. And it's not just a business. It's a real outreach and ministry to these young ladies that that desperately need what you're doing. It's a powerful, powerful story. How can people 
get the jewelry. I know they can go to Target.com. Are there other outlets maybe to go directly to uh, Sanctuary? Yeah, you can come directly to SanctuaryProject.com and um, shop there. Uh, we also, we're a nonprofit. We're a 501c3 nonprofit, and we are supported in large part by donations and our Sponsor a Survivor program. So if you're someone who, maybe your heart is broken for tr survivors of trafficking, and maybe you've even recently learned about this, you can actually come alongside us by sponsoring a survivor through Sanctuary Project. I hope people will. It is a beautiful story. We're so proud of you. That's why we wanted you to be our Huck's hero tonight because we love mm. putting the spotlight on people who are doing is great Is there a trophy? Things. Better than that, you get to take a photo with me <laughs> later. That's a big whoopee deal, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> hey, to help Holly, Christine Hayes, bring Sanctuary to survivors, why don't you visit sanctuaryproject.com. Check out her amazing jewelry collection. And if you want to know more about Holly's story, you can uh, get it in the book, From Basement to Sanctuary, wherever books are sold.